Lotti, Michael here. 10 months ago I've released a video called How to view AirPods Pro battery level on Android. It gained some traction and initially was super useful to our community. However, after a few months I've noticed a lot of comments mentioning the app mentioned in the original video called Andropods just stopped working. I felt the video simply lost in value and no longer served people who were looking for a solution. That's where this video is going to fill that gap. I've done some testing on my side and I'm going to show you how to display battery levels of your AirPods on your Android device. The steps are done on AirPods Pro, however, they also apply to other AirPod models. Are you ready? Let's get started. Through testing multiple apps, I found the app that is the most stable and displays not only the battery level of your AirPod earphones, but also the case itself. The app's name is Material Pods, and we're going to go through some basic steps to set it up. Okay guys, so once you install the Material Pods app, which is super easy, you just go back to your Play Store and look for Material Pods AirPods battery. Uh, the first step would be to basically pair your AirPods earphones with your phone. Uh, assuming you haven't done that already, just go to your Bluetooth settings and just pair your AirPods. You simply open the AirPods case and they should be available um, as a device to pair. Okay, so I already have my AirPods Pro connected. Let's have a look how it works. So we're gonna go and return back to Material Pods app. If it's already enabled, yeah, then you don't have to worry about anything, but I will just re-enable it as it was disabled. And straight away, you can see the notification pop up showing individual percentage battery level for each of the earphone, as well as the percentage of battery for the case itself. Pretty handy. The easiest way to check it is to slide down the notification bar. And once you do that, you will see the material pods notification there, the percentages for your earphones and the case if it's nearby. A cool feature that you can use as well is that you can either disable or enable the material pods notification whenever you want. So the way to do this is that if you slide your notification to see the buttons on your notification, you can add this notification that you can see here and I've already added it. Generally, you'd have to add it from the list of available buttons. So you drag and drop it. I don't know why for some reason it's called running, but anyway, uh, let's go for it. We just add it back and have a look. So now I have the notification and the button is on. I'm gonna turn it off and you will see that the material pods notification is gone. So if you've noticed that there is some issues, you want to kind of restart it, you can simply turn it off, turn it on, see if the notification is showing up. I've never experienced any issues with that. However, you never know what may happen. And you can see straight away the percentages show for the earphones and the case itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking it, subscribing, leave a comment down below if you have any other questions or maybe an app that works better than material pods. I'd be curious to try it. All the best and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.